हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडेज क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट वी विल स्टडी टूडे टॉपिक इज सोर्सेज ऑफ वाटर बिफोर दिस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एयर what is air and how it get polluted what are the reasons of pollution and how can we stop air pollution and then after we saw water and in water in water today's topic is sources of water yes student today we are going to study about the sources of water sources of water means from which we can get the water from which we can get the water that is called the sources of water and my dear student on the earth we get water from many sources such as rain is the main source of water yes student in previous video we saw i draw here water cycle how water comes down through precipitation or rainfall and then after how it get evaporated and after evaporation it moves away towards the sky and in the form of water vapor uh, in the form of gas or vapor this vapor collect at one place in the sky and after condensation it convert into water and this water again comes to the earth in the form of precipitation or rain so we can say rain is the main source of water rain is the main source of water rain is the main source of water some other sources of water are ocean seas rivers lakes and ponds yes student these are also the main source of water ocean seas rivers lakes and ponds we know different different land forms are here on the earth in that fountain is also on the mountain every time there is snow and ice and when this ice and snow started melting it water and i uh, snow and ice convert into water and form many rivers so rivers are here lakes and ponds are the these are the main sources of water we draw up underground water through the means of hand pumps and tubes yes student by digging we draw up underground water through hand pumps and tubes that we use in our villages to irrigate our crops and in our home if there is no light at that time we can get the water from hand pumps so these are the sources 
of underground water how we draw up underground water by the hand pumps and tube wells yes student so these are the main sources of water water is very important thing of our life for our life because we cannot survive without water so we should keep our environment safe and healthy and when environment will be safe and healthy we continuously get we will continuously get the water and its its resources will be maintained if water cycle will play its perfect role so you can see here global warming problem because of global warming our big glaciers and mountains on the mountains snow and ice get started melting and water bodies day by day increasing and water cover up land area so we should properly use our we should our we should properly use our resources and water is very precious resource for us so we have discussed about this important resources and next and one next one is clean water yes student we have we should drink clean water why because when we use dirty water in our daily life many diseases will be there with us so there is need to drink there is need to use clean water so clean water the river water is clean in mountains but when it reaches plains the waste on the way make it dirty yes student when water is on the mountain it it is pure water on the mountain is pure and when it comes to the plain it gets dirty by mixing a lot of things in the water bodies so thus we have to make the water pure before using it at home we can clean by yes student thus we have to make the water pure before using we should make our water pure in this section in this topic we will discuss how can we purify the water so here are some method by which we can purify the water first one is boiling it by boiling by boiling we can make water and milk purify because by boiling we can kill the germ that is inside the water or milk so here are here we have discussing about water so water before using water we should boil the water to purify it adding chlorine tablets yes student by using chlorine tablets we can also purify the water next is filtering it by filtering you know filtering by filtering we can make our water clean and fresh for us we should always drink clean water we should always 
drink clean water because dirty water gave us a lot of diseases water is precious yes student water is very precious because very less percentage of water is pure on the earth and remaining water is not able to use so water is very precious thing and save it we should save the water we should use this resource properly you can do it at your home when you when you are brushing your teeth at that time tap should be closed and make sure that you are not wasting the water because water is very precious and we have to keep it safe for our future generation so i hope you understand this topic and by this i am going to conclude this lesson and today's class also i hope you are doing your homework and you will be safe and fine at your home good day